Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. You know, I've done a couple of videos talking about this guy right here. This is the new Berkeley finisher. This is the little one, the size five. And in those videos, I referenced this as a northern glide bait because that's one of the ways that Berkeley is kind of talking about it. Uh, they're calling it a glide bait. Now, in my opinion, it's a whole different category of baits, a slash style bait. Uh, but they're calling it a northern glide bait because a lot of the people up here in the north country know this style bait as a glide bait. It's really, uh, this is a, a Rapala jig and wrap, uh, but a lot of similar characteristics between these two baits. Now, in my opinion, this is much more versatile, but I wanted to talk about northern glide baits and how we use them. Uh, you know, the glide bait really is much more of a uh, when I say glide bait, I'm talking the northern glide bait, much more of a deep water ripping style bait where you allow your bait to go to the bottom, you rip it hard, and you're fishing to generate a lot of reaction strikes from fish. Now, a lot of times it really does entail a heavy bait. You know, this is a pretty much just a solid lead bait. Uh, you can use it in a lot of different manners. You can fish them through the ice vertical, uh, the key here being that this bait will move around and glide, uh, but you can also cast them, you know, and I think that's one area where a lot of people tend to not get the full advantage out of them. A lot of people see this and just think of it as a ice water bait, an ice fishing bait. Uh, but the reality here is they are very, very good at generating bites and they are catching on down south. There are a lot of anglers, honestly, that are starting to throw this style bait with forward facing sonar because of some of the features it has in it. One being that it is a fast sinking bait so you can get it down to the depths that those fish are at. Two, it's a fast moving bait, meaning a good gliding motion. So if you know where the fish is at, you can generate a good reaction strike. But three, it also does tend to show up pretty well on your forward facing sonar units because of the density of it. It's a solid hard object. And that's one thing that I found uh, quite a bit is just that, you know, your hard baits do tend to show up a lot better than some of your soft baits. But from that perspective, I still feel like they are very, very underutilized. Now, the main areas where I like to fish them, one, if I've got a good rock hard bottom area, deep water humps, maybe it's the end of a point. Areas where I know the fish are bottom orientated and I'm just trying to get down to them and keep my bait down there, and generate a reaction strike by ripping my rod. That's a key area where I like to fish it. But I also really like to fish for suspended fish. So if I've got fish that are chasing shad or chasing bait, uh, it's a really good bait to work quickly through those areas where you have suspended fish uh, but you can keep the bait down, meaning a lot of times a problem with the baits that you have when you make a long cast, as much as we think we're pulling our bait at us directly, when you raise up on your rod, what actually is happening is that bait is almost going straight vertical. It's not actually coming at you. You generally have a pretty good bow in your line. Uh, so when you have a heavier bait like this that cuts through the water, it tends to stay at the level that you want it. So if you know you've got fish that are down 15 feet, it's a really good bait to pull through those, those areas. But I want you to keep in mind that generally speaking, a northern glide bait style bait is not one that has much action in itself. So if I were just to take this and straight reel it, or even take one of the new Berkeley finishers and straight reel it, generally all you get is a straight motion. It's not, it doesn't have any wiggle. It's not doing a whole lot on its own. The finisher does have a little bit of tail kick, but it's not a real noticeable movement like a crankbait. The key here with these baits is you, the angler, needs to impart the action. Uh, generally speaking, it does not take much action of your rod tip to impart that though. You know, you give it nice simple rod tips and I showed you in the video with the finisher how to go about doing it. You can just give it simple pops and that bait's going to be darting all over. You can also give it really hard rips and get extremely wide movements. Uh, that's up to the angler and it's up to the day and it's up to the species. Some species really like very hard snaps. Other species, I feel like just want a nice tight kind of movement. 
A lot of that has to do with the water uh, temperature as well in terms of how aggressive those fish are. But a northern style glide bait really is much more of what I like to call uh, that jigging wrap style bait or more of your, I mean, really what you would consider more of your ice fishing bait uh, than anything. But it is a really good clear water bait as well and one that goes very much underutilized. You know, I've had some really good success fishing them on lakes like Lewis Smith Lake for spotted bass down deep suspended over trees. Uh, I've had really good success as well fishing all the Great Lakes for smallmouth. It's a very underutilized bait for that. Uh, but anytime you've got fish that are either hunkered down deep on rocks, on like really refined specific deep water humps and you need to keep your bait down, or you've got fish that are holding on suspended bait fish, or you're looking to just cover a bunch of water and you've got big immense flats like St. Clair is one of those places where there's not much bottom difference. And from that standpoint, you're just trying to cover water to find where those fish are at. These are baits that you can throw out. You don't have to be looking at them on your forward facing sonar and you can cover lots and lots of water very quickly to help you identify those areas where the fish are holding. Once you generate a couple of strikes, uh, at that point you can slow down, work it with some slower drop shots or whatever it is that you wanna fish. But the key here is, they are phenomenally good search baits as well. So if you're not familiar with a Northern Glide bait, you are now, if you don't have one, it might be something you might wanna try and pick up in your, uh, in your arsenal and just give it a try. They're really, really good in cold water. I tend to steer away from them a little bit more as the water temperature gets into the summer temps. Does not mean you can't catch them on it. It's just is something where they do seem to shine during your cold water period. So for those of you that asked me based on those uh, Berkeley finisher videos I did, what exactly a Northern glide bait is, that's really what they are. Uh, so give them a try if you haven't. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow.